here with the door her beauty back with another video and as you can see we're going to be doing an underarm wax so this video is pretty special because i'm going to be using two wax formulations the first under this underarm is the nullify wax by abolish wax brand so i'm not going to talk much about either of these waxes i will let you be the judge and form your own opinion if you like what you see and you are interested in purchasing either of these waxes or both the link will be in the description so let's just get into this wax session let's let our focus be on exactly what we're doing and you can just see the effects of what we're using and again form your own conclusion so you from the first start before the first strip was laid rather you can see that her hairs kind of have a lack of uniformity which means they're growing in several different directions so of course you always want to go in the direction of where the majority of the hairs are growing most times people um hair will grow from like the arm the top of the arm down to the breast area for the majority there are you know instances or special people and i mean that in a lovingly way where the hair will grow like from the boob side chest area up towards the arm so of course no two people's hair is going to grow in the same direction but just as a general consensus most people hair will grow from like the top of the underarm down toward the breast chest area so if you are waxing yourself at home and you're just unsure which direction the hair is growing i would recommend going from like the top of the underarm down toward the breast with your application and then removing it from the breast chest area up towards the arm kind of like how i'm doing right here be sure to add pressure and i think if you are a person who are wet who you know is waxing at home you want to start learning to analyze your wax strips and just making notes of the condition of your skin you don't want to get into the habit of just like waxing the skin and you're happy that you don't have hair now but you're not taking note of the condition of your hair you're not taking note of the condition of your skin so always you know pay attention to how your skin is looking if you're waxing underneath your arms or anywhere and that you're noticing that the skin is becoming darker that means you're going to have to start implementing some type of skincare regimen so you can see here i laid a few strips her hair for the most part is gone there will be stubborn hairs left behind let me say that i just don't think you can get a 100 percent clean wax when you're self waxing you may get 85 percent 90 percent 95 percent even 99 percent but there's probably going to be some hairs there and so that's okay but when you're going to a professional baby it needs to be clean like this it needs to be clean make sure they're giving you great products in the end to help your skin be calm soothe hydrated all of the above so as you can see i'm already on the other side and again i'm using a different formulation on this side i'm going to be using abrogate which you know abrogate is our first in the line and so i just call her big sis because she's the first she's the first born in a bolish wax brand and so this one here is much quicker drying so it does not take as long to dry or set as you can see look at that even the real thick lip is already fully dry and so some people love a more quicker drying wax so they want to get in apply it get it out and it still has the same grab power so you can see her hair has very curly texture i have some sheath on there which the sheath is just an accumulation of sebum and sweat and you know that inner shelling inside the hair follicle so when you see that surrounding the hair just know that you pull that sister gal that you pull that hair all the way up from the roots why everything gotta be a girl with me i don't know 
<laughs> I ain't say he, she, because there's a woman on West anyway, so I guess, hey girl, girl, we got the mask up, girl, and so look, already, there's no cut in this video, and it's dry, just as quick as I applied it, it was dry, now, I feel like with this one, it left a little bit more hair behind, but um, I, I guess it, it, it glides so effortlessly, I probably could have added more pressure, so, there are some few little hairs behind. I'm doing a couple more strips on this side. But I believe that, you know, it's just as effective. So, again, just know, you know, when you're waxing at home, if you are a person that wax at, wax at home, there may be hairs left behind. And just also because, you know, one underarm or one side of your face or one leg or something perform better, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen on the other side, you know. It may be some stubborn hairs left behind because they they have their own characteristics sometimes. And then it comes down to, you know, how much hydration you're getting on a day-to-day -day basis, what your skincare regimen looks like, how often you're following up with your wax sessions. Are you regular? Are you a little inconsistent? All of these things play a key role in how effective the wax is going to be like the wax is going to do what it's going to do but there are a lot of factors that the individual can you know do in between that will help make their sessions you know more worthy and so you still want to be careful because i just feel like sometimes people can be a little bit aggressive when they're waxing and so focused on you know getting it all in one strip that they or trying to you know get it all with wax strips they just become too aggressive so definitely take your time 